Daka. Double Daka. What's good, everybody? My name is Valor, and welcome back to Valtech Armory. And you know, I don't think that the hobby would be as far as it is now without the advent of home 3D printers, because practically anybody with a little bit of know-how and a 3D printer can make a blaster design that is completely new and different. Case in point, the Chalicerae by Mags Blasters. Basically, this is a double bolter in Nerf. To feed it, you use two Talon magazines. This one's held together with another accessory. That's mainly just to treat it as one single unit. Though you can actually only use one barrel if you want just by loading in a single magazine. Because this one solenoid has a double-ended pusher, meaning this is a shotgun every single time. And I have been having way too much fun with this thing. Before we go outside and while I've got your attention, could I trouble you with a like or a comment? Maybe hit the little subscribe button and ring the little bell down below so you don't miss my next uploads. YouTube doesn't like when you upload shorter videos so they don't tend to push them as much, but they can't stop this content train. I've got a whole whiteboard full of blasters I need to make videos on, and you better be sure to stay subscribed because I am going to do a video on every single one of them. As always, I do appreciate your viewership. All right, you know the drill. Got the blaster, got some mags. Going to flip all of the switches on just so I have the voltmeter and all the extra effects. I have a camera down there this time, so hopefully we'll actually see uh, the darts hitting things. Uh, we're about 30 feet away since this is a shotgun, I kind of want to have it for that sort of range. And this is only Flywheel of the World, so it's not going to hit the furthest ranges anyway. So, let's get to it. Out. A lot of those were splitting the tree, though that can be quite useful, especially if you're playing HVZ and uh, yeah, you could basically keep a zombie in between where you're shooting so someone else can take them out. Then again, if you're running as a solo uh, solo player, that can be a bad thing, but you saw me tilt it vertically and it was hitting more vertically up and down. So that's pretty interesting. And the, uh, the muzzle's starting to glow a little bit, but yeah. It's a neat little blaster, though I would like to see in future revisions maybe a select fire mechanism that allows you to go from firing alternating barrels to then firing both barrels at once. That way you could have, with standard talent, up to 30 rounds of constant firing, or maybe even 60 if you're using double Tachi magazines. Which, yes, it fits, but the pusher head on it is a little bit too wide to actually fit between the lips of the Tachi magazine because they're slightly narrower than a standard Talon. But that's something really easy to do in CAD software, so that's not much of an issue if you're just running standard Talons, which a lot of people will be doing anyway. And the grip is slightly too short for my hands. You can see the bottom of my palm kind of overshadows the battery box down here, which that is a nice little feature that the battery box is toolless. It just has a small little spring-loaded ring that acts as the catch, and then you can pivot it out to access your battery. And there is plenty of space in this blaster. The only other thing I'd really want to add to this blaster in terms of usability would be the addition of a full blaster kill switch. There are three switches under the trigger guard that activate the voltmeter, the muzzle flash, and the strobe on top of the blaster, but there is no way to completely turn off the blaster. Realistically, that shouldn't be that hard to do considering it's just a single switch, maybe hooked up to a MOSFET to control the full power of the thing. And some people might not like these exposed flywheel cage wires, though these are actually in a nice spiral cable wrap to keep them more safe. They can still catch on things if you're not careful, but I haven't had issues with that at all because I don't wear anything on my chest. Though if you are wearing something like a chest rig or something, these wires could easily get snagged. So maybe having a clip on the side that keeps the wires against the body of the blaster so they're not just freely hanging would be a nice addition for things in the future. But overall, I had a lot of fun getting to check out this blaster concept. Having what is effectively a solenoid powered version of Walcom's Deleter is really cool. And the fact that it uses Talon magazines, double ones in this case, 
means it is a whole lot easier to carry a whole bunch of these compared to full size and strike mags. Again, I wanted to thank Mags Blasters for loaning me this, and I do apologize for this taking so long. Life hit me in a weird way. And a big thank you for watching. And if you've been liking the content and want to help the channel out even more, you can sign up to my Patreon or use the super thanks. Starting at $1 a month, you can help the channel out, get access to the Patreon-only Discord channel, and other perks, like getting sneak peeks at future videos and voting on the next videos I do. Again, big thanks to the patrons that are scrolling up on the screen. As ever, my name is Valor. Thanks for watching. Hey, we did it. Another one in the bag. It's videos like this that remind me what I made this channel for to begin with, because I was seeing all these blasters from all these different creators and designers and stuff, and they weren't getting quite nearly enough attention as they should be getting. And I didn't really see any other YouTubers, YouTubers really ever taking a look at them. So I wanted to make my own channel where I showed off my mods and also bring attention to these community-made blasters with my own high-quality builds to show the real full potential of these things and, you know, get some more recognition for these other designers. In effect, I was wanting to use my passion for the hobby to really promote their passion for the hobby and their builds. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.